Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get all of the achievements in Itty Bitty Railway. This does not include limited achievements that can only be obtained during a certain period of time and Game Pass achievements that cost Robux to get. But with that said, it's time to start. The first achievement is Rainy Day. To get it, you just have to place two castle turrets anywhere on your plot. This achievement unlocks the Fantastic Scotman train with a capacity of 76. The next achievement is Crimea River. To get it, you just have to place 5 water tiles anywhere on your plot. And this achievement unlocks the water terrain block. The next achievement is Duck Hunt. To get it, you just have to place 10 ducks on your plot. And this will unlock the large water tile. The next achievement is Team Trees. To get it, you just have to place 20 trees on your plot. This achievement unlocks the logging train with a capacity of 71. and the log pile which cost 50 cash. This next achievement is Picasso and it is very easy. All you have to do is press 3 and then paint anything that is paintable. This will unlock the fountain which cost 150 cash. Alright, the next achievement is bought out. To get it, you just have to place 75 objects. I prefer trees because they're the cheapest. And this will unlock the CE Continental Train. Of course, once you're finished, you can delete all of the structures. This next achievement, Prickly Placement, is very easy. All you have to do is place 10 cacti. and this will unlock the Western Locomotive Train. Alright, the next achievement is light it up, and to get it, you just have to place 5 spotlights on your plot. This will unlock the NSR 470 train.
Okay, the next achievement is full bloom. To get it, you just have to place 10 cherry blossom trees on your plot. This will unlock a Japanese Tori. An old street light. and an LT bullet train. This train is very, very fast. All right, this next achievement is called supposed to be temporary and to get it, you just have to place an Eiffel Tower. This will unlock a triumphant arch and an LT TMV train. Okay, the next achievement is snowfall and to get it, you just have to place 10 snowy trees. This will unlock the Toronto Tower. And a Canada Pacific train. This next achievement is called Getting Busy, and to get it, you just have to place 200 structures on your plot. I would again recommend that they be trees because they're very cheap. And this will unlock the big boy train. This is a very slow train, but it has 125 capacity. This next achievement is called Big Bucks, and to get it, you just have to have had 10,000 cash at some point. This achievement unlocks the Nako Track Train, which has a capacity of 58. This next achievement is called For Sale, and to get it, you just have to fully expand your land. And by the way, it costs 3,744 cash to fully expand your land. This achievement unlocks the LT8600 train. And last but not least, we have quality service. To get this, you have to place about 23 Eiffel Towers on your plot, which costs about 20,000 cash. This is of course assuming that you don't have any other decoration on your plot, so prices may vary. You can also use Statue of Liberties. This is ultimately just to get your rating up to 100. You can use any other decorational structure, but the more expensive it is, the faster this will go. So the Eiffel Tower or the Statue of Liberty is the best way to go. Anyways, this achievement will unlock the CE43 train. And that will just about wrap up this video. Hopefully it has helped you, and if it has, and you would like to get more videos in the future to help you improve your railway, then make sure that you subscribe. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video once it's out.